on YouTube. Um, I ordered the larger bottle, which is the size I need for my pond of this uh, from eBay, which still hasn't come, so I've had to go and buy this just to top me up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be adding this now. The UV's off, as stated on the back of the bottle. It says uh, keep it off for 12 hours. So I'm going to douse these up now. I'm going to put the majority in with the gravel, um, or maybe half, and then the rest between the two. And then when my other bottle comes, I shall douse the rest, uh, use the, half the other bottle. Um, but I found that crack, as I showed you in the last video, but what I didn't show you, or what I didn't realise, is I have got one that is a lot worse. So I've put these ties on just for now, just to tide me over. Um, later today, I've got a load of brick tie. Um, I'll wrap it, I'm going to try and wrap it around the whole pond. But yeah, I'm going to attempt to fix this. Um, I've got some resin and that to try and get into the crack. I've had to put them there for now, but what I will do once I have fixed it is I'm going to dig another foot in, a bit deeper this time, round there, and I'm going to uh, fix this corner. So I'm going to I'm going to stack them flat this time um, to give this extra strength, and I'll do the same there where I showed you the crack from yesterday. Um, so I'll be building some round here and some down there, and hopefully that'll reinforce it enough so that I don't lose my whole pond. But yeah, when I saw that my uh my anal region was going flap 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 but yeah right i'm gonna douse these up now and i'll speak to you soon that's all three of them doused up um when my I think it's a 2.5 litre, the bigger one of that size I've just used. When that arrives, um, I'll spread half of it between the rest of them. So then that will have had two and a half litres or whatever. And then I'll keep the other half of that bottle for this plastic media. Although, I'm just looking at it, the size of it, and I'm thinking, mm, will that even move in a moving bed? But... Um, I will be using it somewhere because this is actually, considering it's plastic, I mean, it's, it's good media, man. It was doing a really good job. Um, so I'll definitely be using that. Um, but if, if if this doesn't move in the moving bed, um, I'll just have to get 50 litres of K1 or something, or Helix or whatever, anything like that. But yeah. I will be using this somewhere because I, I do believe that this is good media but right so next thing is get some brick ties around there and then I'm going to have to start digging an extra foot in it uh, never ends but I suppose it is a lot of water and for my first build you'll probably uh, come to my channel in 10 years time and I'll be building another one or something crazy but yeah, so that's it for the moment. Um, I'll come back to you once I've put some of the brick ties on and see where we stand there. Speak to you soon. So this is what I've got to fix it. Um, got the brick tie stuff here, little focus. Builder's band, 20 mil. So I'm gonna drill the uh, drill in, fill with some of this resin stuff. Um, two part I think it is it just mixes with that um, put the plugs in um, screw it up band it all up and hopefully it will keep it tight um, but that's all I can do for now so fingers crossed it works I did the new air pump on just for now while I'm uh, trying to colonize that bacteria to add some extra oxygen um, so yeah UV's off, back to some of the bacteria's in. And then uh, I'll be getting the brick ties and the drill out soon.
on YouTube. Um, well, I managed to get me a microscope. It was only a cheap one, um, 60 odd quid or something, but it looks like I'm able to see what I need to see because I've just put a tiny drip of pond water under there and there's all sorts of bloody craziness swimming around. Hang on, let's see if I can actually show you. There's a weird worm thing on the right. This part of the slide hasn't got much in it, but... Yeah, so... That's all I was bothered about, whether it would be strong enough to see any of the parasites or anything, but it seems alright, so... Um, yeah, I may, I may do my first ever scrape today. Well, with my own microscope anyway. But, um, yeah, I'm chuffed with that for the money. I'll uh, I'll do a little mini review on it for you as, uh, at some point because it was only like 50 quid or something stuff like that but yeah it's looking all good at the minute it come with all this which is pretty much useless I mean that's not too bad it's not sharp you could probably gently do a scrape with that because the slides are a bit sharp wherever they've gone so yeah you got blank slides covers um, you got stuff like this like fly wings and bits of whatever whatever to look at underneath the scope it's got this thing for shaving stuff if you wanted to make your own samples some sort of prod tweezers magnifying glass pipette um, a little breeding station or hatchery whatever they're called and a um, what's that oh it's just a petri dish so yeah it's a swift what was it called now where's the pack uh, if you'll focus please yeah, so it's a Swift SW150. Um, I don't know if this means anything to any of you, like, but yeah, it's seeming all right so far. So fingers crossed, it'll do the job. Right, I shall speak to you later. Well, I know it's hard to tell on camera, but it uh, having that gravel filter and that new pump has made the world a difference. Um, the UV's been off for a few days because I added that first bit of bacteria and I've added some more today um, but it's still clear to the bottom it's hard to see without a Polaroid lens over the uh, camera but yeah it's cleared up so what I've done to tide me over to hold um, the, the bricks together I'll put some of this banding all the way around um, there's another piece there I need to tension it a bit more though. I need to hammer some pegs in to tension it. Um, then, I've stitched these with some thicker band in. And put a bit of resin in there. And I don't know if I'd already showed you, but yeah. So those bands go all the way around there. Um, I've put resin in all this crack here. Um, and then I've got a big piece of stitching all the way around there and then it's got resin behind it as well so it's literally rock hard so yeah it's where we are at the minute um filters look like they're doing a good job i need to uh do a water change because i haven't done one yet do a water change let it settle in do another water test and hopefully it's doing the job it, it's looking that way at the minute i have had some um blanket weed or string algae whatever you want to call it pop up so I might have to get some clover leaf answer or whatever it's called so yeah other than the uh, little bit of blanket weed that's come up it's uh, doing a really good job at the minute uh, hopefully once the UV comes back on as well it'll be even clearer right I shall leave you there for today people um, Thanks for watching. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, before I do leave, I've done a scrape, but it happened, the only fish I could catch was one of the most healthiest looking fishes, and there was literally nothing on it at all. Um, I, took a, I took a tiny bit of the algae as well, and there's some weird like little things living in there. I'll try and put the clip of that on here. But yeah, that's me signing off for today, people. I shall be back soon. Thanks for watching.